So we are here in the option chain tool in the application. From here, you can select the instrument. Let me just plot Nifty so it becomes very relatable. Or you can select stock as well. Let's say I'll select Reliance or any stock. Okay, any FNO instrument, uh, you can select it from here. So over here, you will get to see the option chain data. On the left hand side, you'll see the call options. You'll get to see the premiums. In between uh, aligned are the strike prices and on the right hand side you will get to see the put premiums so now why we are understanding uh premiums is because when we are trading in options we are going to trade these premiums we are going to buy or sell these premiums so let's quickly understand how these premiums are calculated what is what are different types of components which are attributing to these option premiums so let's keep on making notes as we move forward so let me just share my entire screen. So yeah. So now how the premium is calculated. So it involves two types of values. First one is uh, intrinsic value. Okay. And the other one is extrinsic value. Now there are two types of options. Okay. So what is intrinsic value and what is extrinsic value? So intrinsic value is that of the, the price of the underlying which exists in that option premium. Okay. The option premium, how much the spot has the value in the option premium is shown to us by intrinsic value. What is the extrinsic value? Extrinsic value uh, includes other components such as implied volatility, time, rate of interest and all those things. So let's simplify. So now there are two types of options, call option and put option. Okay. So for call option, how intrinsic value will be calculated? So it would be calculated using a simple formula, spot price minus the strike price. Okay. So let's say if uh, my spot is, let's say 80. Okay. And my strike price is 100. What would be intrinsic value? It would be minus 20. But here is the catch. A premium can never be negative. Okay. A option premium can't go negative, right? It can be zero, but it can't be negative. Why? Because have you ever seen something getting priced in the market negatively? No, right? So option premium can't be negative. So intrinsic value, it is basically either zero or above one. Okay. So in this scenario, if the spot price is smaller than the strike price, what will be the intrinsic value? It will be zero. Okay. So on the put side, how will be the intrinsic value calculated? So it is the opposite formula of the call, which is strike price minus the spot price. Okay. So over here, let's say, if my spot is, um, or let's say my strike price is 100 and my spot is, let's say 80, what would be the intrinsic value? It would be 20. So let's go to option chain and let's quickly do it in the tool itself. Okay. So by the way, you can access uh, option chain and it is uh, freely accessible to each and everybody who has signed up to Consap. You can access it from the link in the description box or it would be there also in the iCard over here. You can easily access it. So uh, let's say, I want to calculate uh, the intrinsic value of 2400 strike price over here. What is the futures? The futures is trading at uh, 2446. So let's say spot is, so let's just make a note spot, strike, okay. And let's say intrinsic value. So what is spot? Spot is 2446. Strike price, I want to calculate the intrinsic value which 2400. Let's say 2400. What would be the intrinsic value? Spot price minus the strike price. How much is the intrinsic value in this option? It is 46 rupees. Now, let's say I want to calculate the intrinsic value for, uh, let's say this one, or maybe let's say this one, 2420. Strike is 2420. Okay. Spot will be the same. Hey traders, Quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you. Click the link in the description box below, complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry. Thank you. And let's say this, so 26 rupees. Similarly, what will be the intrinsic value for this one? Or let's say 2440. So what will be that? So copy this and let's see this. 6 rupees. The ATM option, which is 2440 strike price, it has intrinsic value of only 6 rupees. Now let's go to out of the money and let's see what's happening. So let's say 2460. Okay. Same spot. Now I'll just copy paste. It's minus 14, which means this is zero. 
right? So the intrinsic value for OTM options is zero. Now coming to the put side, if you do the reverse thing, okay? So over here, if you just do it the reverse way, you will get the answer. Okay, so only thing you need to change is nothing but just the, this thing, so just the formula. So what would be the formula? Strike price minus the spot price, okay? And if I just copy paste this, you see, it is just reverse because I have just reversed the formula, right? It is spot minus strike versus strike minus spot. So this is how you calculate intrinsic value. But if you see, the premiums are much more higher as compared to the intrinsic values, right? Because in option, there also exists extrinsic value. What is extrinsic value? Extrinsic value is nothing but time value of money, the number of days which are left to expiry. The market is adding that premium, okay? Based on the number of days left to expiry, the market is accounting for that as well and adding that uh, risk into the premium, number one. Second thing is IV, implied volatility. Even that is uh, added in the option premium. And the other thing is rate of interest, which might not affect a lot, but even that has been added in the option premium. And then eventually what you're getting to see is this 51. Okay, so let's see. So let me just do it now the, for the call side and I'll just delete all of these. Okay, so let me just delete all of these. And let's say spot minus strike. Okay. So now what is the premium? It is 51. Okay, so intrinsic value is 51. Now what will what is the premium? So premium is uh, 51. Okay. So what would be the time value? It would be 5. Okay. So the formula is simple. If you just want to calculate, it's simple. The premium, which is 51 minus the intrinsic value. Okay. So time value for this option is 5 rupees. So you can easily do it. So it's basically very simple that in an option premium, only the options which are having intrinsic value, okay, they right, which are basically in the money options, they will have some intrinsic values. Rest all the options will do not have any intrinsic values. So let me just write zero. And let's just understand how these are calculated. 34.2. Okay, so I'm writing the actual premium so that we can easily relate to it. 19.55 and 10.5. So as in this option, in 2460 call option, there is no intrinsic value. That's the reason if you see the premium is very cheap, right? So the premium is very cheap over here. So sorry, I wrote it over here. So let's say premium. Mm, and let's say I'll just copy this entire thing over here. Okay. So it's simple, over here 8.2 rupees is the time value, over here 13.5 rupees is the time value, over here time value is 10.5 rupees because this option does not have any intrinsic value. So it's very simple, just understand how much the intrinsic value is, plus whatever money is left in that option premium, rest whatever the premium is left, that is only because of time value of money, that is only because of the extrinsic value. Extrinsic value, time value of money, it is almost one and the same thing, okay? Some may call it extrinsic value, some may call it time value of money. It is one, each and everything is the same, right? The meaning does not change, only the words do. So yes, uh, do check out option chain and start at least taking informed decisions wherein you'll get to see the option premiums, the open interest data, and a lot more things. Apart from that, stay tuned with our channel for more such content. See you and happy trading.